A New York City mosque firebombed on the first of the year. Just the latest incident reflecting an alarming trend that while FBI stats show violent crime going down nationally, hate crimes toward Muslims are surging. And it's a reality Ibrahim Hooper, a representative of the Council on American Islamic Relations, finds concerning. It's troubling that there's this rise in anti Muslim sentiment, and we're not quite sure how to turn the trend around. According to the most recent FBI hate crime report, crimes against Muslims increased by 50 percent. Last year, mosques were attacked in 13 different states, including Texas, California, and Ohio. It's a trend civil rights organizations worry may be a result of increasingly controversial political rhetoric. Where do you think this concept of equality comes from? It doesn't come from Islam. There is an infiltration of uh, the Sharia practice into all of our operating systems here in this country as well as we see across Western civilization. So we must be able to recognize that enemy. Abed Ayoub, legal director at the American Arab Anti-Discrimination Committee, says politicians must be aware of their influence. These elected officials, these spokespersons need to understand that they're having an impact, that their words are leading to these actions and we need them to, to make this country safer, we need them not to engage in, in this type of rhetoric. AU believes it's this kind of political discourse that could be pushing an anti-Islamic message into the mainstream. In 2011, over 20 states attempted to ban Sharia law, a set of Islamic laws based on teachings of the Quran. All this despite the fact that there has been no attempt to implement Sharia law in U.S. courts. And more recently, retail giant Lowe's pulled its advertising from TLC's All-American Muslim. This a result of pressure from a conservative group that said the show was, quote, attempting to manipulate Americans into ignoring the threat of jihad. Lowe's defended its decision, saying in a statement, individuals and groups have strong political and societal views on this topic, and this program became a lightning rod for many of those views. Bilal Ayman was a cast member of the show. We created dialogue. We got people talking about things that they wouldn't talk about. Um, you have p different types of people interacting now. And it's basically, me personally, what I set out to do. Eamon says the show has given viewers the chance to see Muslim Americans in a positive light, something he thinks may cool some of the heated rhetoric. But many others in the American Muslim community wonder if it'll be enough. Amira David, NBC News, Washington.